Okay, you guys, I did another 72 hour water fast and I am here to share my results. In the last video that I did back in February when I did my very first water fast, I recorded on separate days and I put a video out for each day. In this video, I'm compiling all three days together and I did it in kind of a vlogging format where I basically just recorded what I was doing throughout my three day fast because I feel like you know, when you finish a water fast, you're so excited and you're so happy about it. Sometimes people aren't able to see the emotions that you may be dealing with when you're actually going through your fast. So thank you once again um, for watching and stay tuned for the video. almost seven o'clock so I'm literally about 19 hours in my fast already I'm feeling pretty good I am trying to get back into the feeling of feeling hungry because I am very hungry maybe a slight little headache nothing crazy but I do feel a little headache um, a symptom that I did feel that I did feel when I got up I felt a little dizzy um, I felt that a little bit earlier today um, but other than that, I think I'm fine. I think I'm just going to try to take it easy today. I'm not going to do anything strenuous tonight. Last time, I wanted to keep a journal. I didn't keep a journal. So now, y'all, I have a journal. And I'm going to write the purpose or my mind state. Like, how am I feeling right now? Um, just things like, you know, going into the first day, how I'm feeling. Also, I'm creating a theme for my three-day water fast. I don't know if a lot of people do this, but on this one, I wanted my theme for this three-day water fast is self-love. I just kind of want to focus on me and doing things that's going to make me feel good. Like some of the things I was thinking about was maybe doing a mask, maybe a foot detox. And I know I'm definitely going to take a cleansing bath, a spiritual bath. Um, one thing I want to set up my raised bed garden because I really been thinking about doing that. I'm really excited about it. Like I said, this is just going to be a raw what I'm doing for my three day fast. Um, actually, my fiance is doing it with me this time because his he tried to do it last time with me, but he stopped on day two. Now I'm just chilling with my family. Probably go in there and watch a movie or something and just relax. Are you okay? Yeah. No! <laughs> Spending time with the babe. She keeps me going. I'm super hungry right now, but I'm just playing with her, trying to focus. Yeah! On her. <laughs> So I'm coming up on my 24 hour mark. This is where your thoughts start coming in your head. And so because I thought about that, that is one of the things I wanted to write in my little fasting journal is my purpose. So when those thoughts come in my head, I can read the purpose of why I'm even doing this water fast. And also I thought having an affirmation would also be good to read. Um, when you have those thoughts because those thoughts have been in my head for the past you know a couple hours like you know especially since I'm coming up on my 24 hour mark really saying like do you really want to keep going why can't you just stop at 24 hours what's the purpose of going for 72 hours just trying to negotiate and convince myself myself is trying to negotiate and convince myself that it's okay to stop that's one of the things that um, I am dealing with is thoughts, my thoughts. My thoughts are running with me. Tomorrow, I want to really focus on my self-love, self-care theme. So I will be trying to do things, like I said, um, do my nails, I wanna do a mask, I wanna do, you know, the foot detox, which I might actually do tonight. So these are the detox packs. You have to do is put them on your feet and put some socks on if you wanted to it smells like I don't know it smells like something I smelled before I'm kind of excited <laughs> so 
See, and now this is why I say like it's good to do things because that for that moment right there, it took my mind off of thinking about why am I even doing a water fast. So I do think it's important to have things that you want to do during your fast to keep you occupied and to keep your mind free. So I have on my detox pads, about to journal. I might read a little bit. This book is called Heal Thyself for Health and Longevity by Queen Afua. And I'm off to go to sleep. Good morning. My sleep was kind of crazy last night. Um, I don't think I really fell into a deep sleep until around 3 o'clock. And um, I guess I'll get up weigh myself to see where I'm at this morning. <laughs> some people, I was researching them, some people say these aren't, they say it's your sweat mixed in with whatever's in the pad. And a lot of people say they're not even real, but if it's real, this is my weight this morning, 144.4. So I've lost four pounds. Four pounds. So it's officially day two of the fast. I feel really good now that I've woken up, moved around a little bit. Um, I actually feel pretty good. I don't feel hungry at all, um, which is a good thing. So I finished my raised garden bed. This is it. And it's 9.08. And this is my dog. So I am totally feeling it. We just about to go on an adventure. We about to go to some stores and just try to get our mind off of the food. And hopefully we'll be back home like super late. So then all we have to do is like get ready for bed and then go to sleep. So I think that's a good thing to do. Just leaving Walmart, and I will tell you, I have had a shift in how I'm feeling because um, I guess because of all the walking, I'm super tired. My lower body is aching right now, um, my hips, kind of like my abdomen and my knees. So I really feel the uh, just some discomfort in there, and I was a little um, winded when I was walking and I still feel winded I really do feel like tired right now so you want to tell how you feel I actually asked him did he want to do a 48 hour fast instead of a 72 so yeah I definitely need to go home um, I don't know if going out was the best thing right now especially not to Walmart because we've seen all this food that we wanted and I was very tempted to say, hey, let's just break the fast now. But we, we're going to keep it moving and head to our next destination on our adventure. She's back there eating, though. You guys, I think I am about to break my fast. Um, my fiance, he chose to stop his fast, so he is eating now. And... In this situation, once I started thinking about why I was really doing it, um, it comes down to this time, discipline. Like, you know, I know I've done it before, so it's like, why can't I just push through? So I'm going to take the time right now. I'm not gonna break my fast right now, but I'm going to do my spiritual bath. I'm gonna do my mask. I'm gonna give myself a massage. I'm going to meditate, see how I feel, and then revisit my, you know, revisit it and see if I really want to stop. And if I still want to stop after that, then I'll do that. Because I was thinking like, okay, well I can just stop the fast and I won't even post up a video about a three day fast. But I was like, no, like everybody has to understand like it's not always gonna be just easy. Like my first three day fast, I had a little bit of issues like as in being hungry, but it wasn't like how I'm feeling now. And I think what really made it make me feel this way was when I went to Walmart and I was walking around and I think that really took my energy a lot of people say it's around this time 
that they start feeling like this but we're so close you know it's just one of those things like what can we do to to keep going and I just wanted to come and let you guys know that I am struggling and my mind is definitely talking to me and telling me to stop I don't even feel like getting up so basically I'm just journaling about how my symptoms are um, before I do my bath but basically I've, I'm feeling pain in my my lower body just it's like a dull ache that's what I'm looking for it's like an ache lower body my knees so for my spiritual bath I have incense I'm gonna burn white candles um, this is eucalyptus oil this is the lighter I'm ready to go. I just completed my spiritual bath and I am continuing my water fast. So maybe when you start feeling some type of way, just allow yourself to take a spiritual bath and talk to yourself and tell yourself that you're strong and that you can make it through. She's trying to feed me chips. So I'm done for tonight. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a nap. Guess I'll sleep this off and see how I feel in the morning. So I've woken up. Um, I have so much energy right now. And when I get up to walk, I feel like I'm floating. It feels like a high, like, um, I really can't explain this high. My cat is, uh, purring. Cause it's officially my countdown. So it's 106. So now I literally can start counting down the hours. And that's why I feel like getting past the first two days. And then when you hit the third day is literally, literally a countdown. So I have less than 23 hours. Now it's definitely no turning back. Uh, I decided, I'm trying to decide what I want to eat when I break my fast. Cause last time I did a vegetable broth or vegetable soup. But I think this time I might do like some egg whites or spinach. I don't know, I just been craving, like that's what comes in my head when I think about breaking my fast. I'm going to prepare some sea moss so that I can put in. I think I might do a smoothie. I feel a lot better. Um, I think the spiritual bath helped. Like I still feel a little something going on in my stomach, but it's not like a hunger pain or, you know, it's just a discomfort. This three day fast has been a lot more strenuous than my first one. I will say that. Um, but I think maybe it's because I'm digging down a little bit deeper than I did on the first time. This is my weight today, 142.4. I'm weighing myself super late, but 142.4. So the countdown is officially on, y'all. I'm so happy. It's 3.38. I'm about to go get my nails and toes done. And I'm about to prep my sea moss for my smoothie that I'm gonna use to um, break my fast. So I'm super happy, I'm gonna just, I'll probably do a video later on how to do the sea moss, but this is it. This is my first time ever doing this too. Oh, it stinks. Woo! 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 I have to really wash this stuff. So, I'm feeding my daughter some spaghetti. And I will tell you, I do Mom, not. Mommy. What? Bully. There's a boy in there. I will tell you, I do not want to drink that sea moss. I want some real food. I want some spaghetti. I want some potato chips. I want a veggie burger. Like, 
That's what I want. And I'm debating at 12. <laughs> like, I know I'm supposed to ease out of it. But at the end of the day, the way I'm feeling right now, and the way I have... Here. Boy, eat. And see, she playing. See, I would have... I would have been an atheist. So, I'm just waking up. I'm officially done with my fast. I want to give myself a round of applause. I can't clap. Um, and this is the crazy thing about it. So, now that I'm officially past the mark of 72 hours, I'm getting this crazy feeling of, let's keep going. Let's see how far we can push it. Isn't that crazy? I don't know if I should push it to five days or six or four just see if I can make it until six o'clock this after this evening so right now I'm gonna do my mask and I'm gonna do my own toes and nails I'm gonna give myself my own pedicure and a manicure and then we're gonna break this fast or I'm gonna see where my mind is this mask is so tight that it's literally pulling my eyes to look like they're doing this but my eyes are literally like it's pulling my eyes y'all oh my god <laughs> this is my weight 140.4 140.4 okay so it's almost six o'clock and i am officially about to break my 72 hour water fast i actually went over i was contemplating back and forth should i continue on do an extra day but i was like you know what i already made it almost six hours past the time that i started my fast so that's progress. I don't have to push it. You know, I did what I did. I stayed true to what I put out for myself. I'm gonna break my fast right now by eating sea moss. You know what? I think I could probably squeeze some lime juice on that too. The taste isn't too bad. Just don't try to smell it. Just eat it, you know? I broke my water fast. And now I am done. Woo. I made it. I made it. Well, thank you for watching my three day, my 72 hour water fast. I'm glad you made it to the end. Um, I hope this video can help someone. Once again, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment box below. I will give you an update. So it has been today is the 19th. So it has been um, four days after my fast. So a lot of times people try to, you know, will ask me, you know, did you gain the weight back or whatever. So I will say that I ate bad after that fast. Um, I ate good for like a couple of hours and then I did go back to eating like regular. Um, I'm, I'm a vegetarian, so I wasn't eating like any meat or anything like that. But I was, I did eat some pasta, I think. I ate me an omelet. I ate an omelet, y'all. I ate an omelet. That omelet was so good. But anyway, so I did gain um some weight back. I think right now I am at 144. So I think I gained back four pounds, which I did gain um in my first fast too. But I did not go back to the weight that I was before. Started out at 148. I ended at 140. But now I'm at 144, so I'm like in between. So I haven't went back to 148 yet. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please like, share, comment. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to doing more videos in the future. I'm sending you off with peace, love, happiness, and good vibes. Peace out, you guys.